guys we just wrapped up 10 days in sonora mexico you're gonna love this two-part video series what i want you guys to do though before we get into this video is go in the description box and check out hunter's box club hit that link and get subscribed i'm here with devin the owner he's a great friend of mine i want you guys to support him we have an exclusive shirt a martin chag uh, elk shirt that's going to be in this month's box your first box is free and then after that you get one to three mystery items and a shirt every month so go check out the box club link is in the description box of this video and uh, enjoy this series. I think you guys are gonna like it. Boys, we're here, dude. Going oh. international. We, we made it. Game time. Boys. I don't want to be on the internet. Come on, get me out. <laughs> First morning is kind of off to a slow start. We saw a couple javelinas real quick, right at first light. Got up to this high point and we blasted all this mountainous country here. Been excited about this ranch because it hasn't been hunted for four years. And it was a quick letdown. Well, we only glassed for about, I don't know, 40 minutes so far. We haven't seen anything. We tried to get Ben and Eric on the radio to see what they've seen, but we can't get them. So we're going to glass this big hill and hopefully turn up a big old coos deer. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> He's got eye guards. Does he? Check it's it side out. by side, bro. It's what? side by side. Side by side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I seriously stepped over both of these, <laughs> and I probably stepped on this one. <laughs> hey, that's a good luck charm right there.
think he's smelling that doll, but he doesn't know where she went. She went right through there. We got everybody together now, trying to just glass up a one shooter buck. We've got a few people with tags, and it's just been a struggle, as you've seen a lot of small bucks. I haven't even seen a buck. I haven't seen an antler on a mule deer or a coos deer. <laughs> just does. Well, I've struggling. seen a ton of bucks. That's just, I didn't say anything because they don't have a tag, so I'm like, what's the point of telling anybody? You know? <laughs> Yeah, Ben's just keeping them all to himself. Waiting for next year. Waiting for next year. <laughs> Coming down behind our back. Yeah. It's not like a high pressure hunt. Like, there's not a lot of pressure on our shoulders. I don't feel it, but it does kind of, I think we have an expectation, like, coming all this way and putting all that effort into a hunt, like, to see a more, more animals. I can't see him. Up to the left of the rock. Yeah, he's just coming out. Yeah. I mean, where is he from that rock? I, I can see a white dot up to the left. I don't know if it's him or not, but I think it is. So after glassing up that doe, I kept oh, like coming back to it. And get some looks at him and he looks better. Glassed up a buck. He's kind of like, he's just a cool one. You know what I mean? He's cool. It's kind of hard with these heat waves, but. Everyone's saying he's not like big, but he's he's got some character and he's probably one of the better bucks we've seen or the better buck. For sure. He's the best we've seen. In a good spot to kill too. I mean just a few hundred yard walk and five hundred yard walk and we could be on him. What do you get on this knoll right there? You get on that knoll. Yeah. And then where where is he from there? Is he just down this way? to the right? Is he where it all looks dead right yeah. there? Yeah. He's on that face. Yeah, he's oh. in the bottom of that. It's only 850 right, right out of the draw. 850 from right here. Oh, nice, dude. Someone could get this deer, I think, if we put our brains so, together. What's that wash right there? Is that 450, 400? In front of us? Yeah, if you got to the edge of that wash. 520. So only... You can shoot him from right there. I guess there's two bucks in here. They're both decent, man. Both good bucks and they're running hard. They've moved a thousand yards already in five minutes. So now we're trying to watch them again Is he still on top? They are still on to make top. another play. Quite the turn of events over the last five minutes. Right when that buck bedded, we got all excited, started getting our gear together. So Chag and I can head over there and then suddenly a new buck came and they started running and they covered two of these big ridges and suddenly they're over here closer to us now. Alright, we are about 150 yards away from the top, maybe 120, to where we'll look over to where these bucks were. We started over there on that point. We're gonna go up like this and look over the backside. here in the area, kind of scattered, but I think he's going to always come back to that hot dough. we got to drop into this little draw. The guys are on the radios up there. Um, and we're just going to 
see if we can get a position for a shot at this buck. But we still have a good daylight to play with. We're gonna get a little closer to get some elevation out of this brush. Okay guys, we got the buck again. I set up in position 430 yards away. Couldn't see him. We moved to the south and now we got eyes on the buck at 400 yards. So now we're just trying to work through this thick brush and uh, get a shot, get an angle through this brush up to that hillside. You dropped him. You dropped him. Well, Martin just dumped his buck. We're gonna sit here and wait to see if that other eight point comes around. The spikes are there, the doe is there, so he can wander in anytime. So we're just gonna hold tight. I killed him, I made it. <clears throat> I shot a little high where she worked 220. Didn't ruin any shoulder meat. That's, that's good. We're just kind of watching in case that other nice buck comes out for Eric. The deer don't really know what happened. They're just kind of looking at him. Yeah, they're just sitting there. First goose buck down. Now it's a pretty cool country. I'm gonna go pick up my buck now before the sun sets. I'm excited. Yeah, dude, he's sweet. He's like, dude, I didn't realize his eye guards are better than I thought. Check it out, oh, bro. <laughs> oh, well, guys, here he is. First coos here. Uh, spotted him with his uh, hot doe. And then uh, we made a game plan, it all worked together. There was a few uh, hiccups. We had radios die, we had bucks going all over the place. And finally we got him bedded and we were able to make a move on him. Little guys, but they're cool creatures, man. Hard to, uh, hard to glass up and takes quite a bit of skill and patience to uh, turn one of these up, but I'm happy with this guy. Pretty cool sunset to end it. Looks like everybody's coming now. You can see the Jeep. So we'll get him cleaned up, a couple more pictures, and head back to camp. Pretty pumped about it.
We are uh, cooking up the buck I just killed. There goes his heart and back strap right here. <laughs> 